Performing maintenance at recommended service intervals goes a long way to ensuring that systems continue to run at peak efficiency. This video will go over the steps in maintaining a Kohler industrial generator. You can watch the entire video or select key topics. Simply click a title on the left to jump to a particular section. Keep in mind this program is simply meant to familiarize you with the process. It is not intended to be a step-by-step -step guide. Refer to the most updated service manuals for complete details. The service intervals we discuss are for standard diesel generators. Follow the guidelines in the lubrication and maintenance service chart. Always be sure to use only the fuel, lubricants, and coolants which meet the specifications outlined in your service manual. To keep the fuel system running properly, there are a number of items to maintain. Check the fuel tank level on a monthly basis. Inspect the flexible lines and connections for any wear or defects. Next, drain the water from the filter bowl to avoid premature failure of the unit injection pump. Also check the fuel filter for water or debris. If the filter is fitted with a see-through bowl, you can do a daily visual inspection and drain it as needed. Then, every 500 hours or yearly, you should replace the fuel filter element. Be careful because the fluid is under pressure and can penetrate the skin, causing serious injury. Finally, every year you should do an inspection of the tank vents and return lines to make sure there are no obstructions. Once a month, check the oil to make sure it remains at the proper level. Do not add any makeup oil until the oil level is below the add mark on the dipstick. Also, do not fill above the top mark on the dipstick. Oil levels are considered within the acceptable range when they are anywhere within the crosshatch area. After the first 50 hours of operation, Kohler recommends you change the engine oil and replace the filter. Remove the drain plug from the access port in the side of the skid. Turn the handle to drain oil out of the engine. Remove the oil filter. Now install the new oil filter, close the valve, and replace the drain plug. Then fill with new oil. After that, the oil and filter can be replaced every 250 hours. Clean filters are important because they keep the oil clean. A word of caution. Be careful when touching the metal surfaces of the oil pan and drain plug. They may be hot due to the temperature of the oil. It's important to check coolant temperature coming out of the block heater. Check this once a month. If the temperature is not accurate, inspect the block heater for failure. A note of caution. Only remove the filler cap when the engine is cold or when it is cool enough to touch with bare hands. This is critical because pressurized cooling systems can create an explosive release of fluids and cause serious burns. The check level for coolant should be an inch below the bottom of the filler neck. You should inspect the flexible hoses and connections every month to make sure there is no wear or leakage. Also check the water pump to make sure it's working properly and not leaking. Every 500 hours or yearly, Go through the process of testing the diesel engine coolant. Also, pressure test the cooling system. Finally, every 2,000 hours or two years, it's time to flush and refill the cooling system. Drain the old coolant and flush the entire cooling system. Then test the thermostats and fill with the recommended clean coolant. The safe operation of the generator set depends on a well-maintained exhaust system. A word of caution when servicing the exhaust system. Hot parts can cause severe injury or death. Do not touch the engine parts. The engine and exhaust system components become extremely hot during operation. At least once a month, inspect the exhaust system for leaks. Look over the exhaust pipe insulation to make sure it is adequate. Make sure there are no potential fire hazards present. Then, every year, you should inspect the hangers and support of the exhaust system to ensure there is no damage.
There are a number of items to inspect and maintain in the electrical systems. Every month, you should test the battery charger. Review the chart on the battery charger for proper operation. Also, clean and tighten the battery terminals. Then, every year, it's important to tighten all the DC electrical connections. When it comes to the AC electrical systems, every month you should test the controller display. Also do a general inspection. And in areas subject to vibration or motion, note any wire abrasions. Finally, every 500 hours or yearly, go around and tighten the control and power wiring connections. It's a good practice every month to visually inspect the engine and mounting for any changes or damage. Also check the air cleaner elements and replace if necessary. Check the belt tension or spring tension and look for excessive wear and cracks on the belt. Replace the belt if necessary. Every 2,000 hours or two years, it's important to conduct an inspection of the crankshaft vibration damper. This will help reduce noise and prevent damage to the unit. Then, every 5,000 hours or three years, inspect the valve clearance along with the bolt torque. The alternator should receive regular service. Every month, do a general inspection. Every 500 hours or yearly, you should check the engine electrical ground connections. The connections should be clean and tight to prevent electrical arcing, which can damage electrical components. Inspect the rotor and stator every 500 hours or yearly. Also check the condition of the bearing and the exciter. Finally, measure and record the resistance readings of the windings with an insulation tester. If the generator set operates under dusty or dirty conditions, Use dry compressed air to blow dust out of the alternator while the generator set is running. Do this every 2,000 hours or two years. Along with maintaining the specific systems of the Kohler industrial generator, it's good to keep an eye on the overall condition of the unit. As you walk around, take note of any vibrations, leaks, noise, temperature, or deterioration. Make sure that the system is set for automatic operation. And note the condition of the interior area of the weather housing. Good record keeping is essential. It helps you know when your systems are due for service. Regularly check the hour meter and record that number and the date. When you reach a milestone, perform all the service that is specified for that interval. Refer to the quick reference chart in your equipment service manual. This concludes the overview for maintaining a Kohler 50 kilowatt diesel generator. Again, consult maintenance manuals for more detail on proper maintenance procedures. For more information on this and other Kohler Power Systems products, contact your nearest distributor. You can also call this toll-free number or visit us on the web at kohlerpower.com. <laughs>